Hey everyone, and welcome to this lesson, where we'll be learning about the product rule. We'll start by seeing exactly what the product rule is, before diving into a few practice questions. As usual, we'll wrap everything up at the end with a summary. Let's get started. First, what is the product rule and how is it useful? Well, we use the product rule to simplify expressions in the form a plus b times c plus d. The product rule tells us that this expression is equal to ac plus ad plus bc plus bd. What we've done here is taken the first term in the first bracket, a, and multiplied it by both terms in the second bracket, c and d. Then we've taken the second term in the first bracket and done the same. For this reason, you may also see the product rule called the FOIL rule or FOIL expansion. FOIL stands for first outer, inner last. That is, first we take the outer term A and multiply it by C and D, and then we do the same for the inner term B. Before we move on, there's one more important piece of information that we can get from this rule. If we swap the expressions on either side of the equal sign, we get AC plus AD plus BC plus BD equals a plus b times c plus d. In other words, the left hand side factorizes to a plus b times c plus d. This may not be immediately obvious as to why this is, so let's try to factorize the left hand side ourselves and see if we can end up at the right hand side. The trick here is to factorize the first two terms and the last two terms separately. So, we can take a out as a factor of the first two terms and b out as a factor of the last two terms. Now we can see that c plus d is a factor of both these expressions. So let's factorize again, this time taking c plus d out the front as the factor. The remainder of the first expression is a and the remainder of the second expression is b. So we're left with c plus d times a plus b. Swapping the order of the brackets, we get a plus b times c plus d, which is what we were after all along. Great. So now that we know what the product rule is, and also how we can use the reverse of the product rule to help us factorize expressions, let's work through a few practice questions. Expand and simplify the expression 2x minus 5 times y squared plus x. All right, this expression is in the form a plus b times c plus d. So let's bring out the product rule. We know that this expression will simplify to ac plus ad plus bc plus bd, where a, b, c, and d are the terms in the given expression. We could identify what each variable is and then substitute it into this expression. But I personally find that using the FOIL method is easier because you don't have to remember where each of the variables go. So first, let's take the outer term, 2x, and multiply it by the two terms in the second bracket. Now, let's take the inner term in the first bracket and multiply it by the same two terms. So now we have 2x times y squared plus 2x times x plus minus 5 times y squared plus minus 5 times x. Simplifying each term leaves us with 2xy squared plus 2x squared minus 5y squared minus 5x. And we're done. Let's have a go at another question. Expand and simplify the expression x plus 5 times x squared plus 7x minus 8. The first thing that you should notice about this question is that the given expression is not in the form a plus b times c plus d, because the second bracket contains three terms. However, we can approach this question in the same way, by multiplying the outer term in the first bracket by all of the terms in the second bracket, and then by multiplying the second term in the first bracket by all of the terms in the second bracket. Generally speaking, whenever we add or subtract another term in either bracket, we can apply the same FOIL method of expanding the brackets. So, let's multiply the x by x squared, 7x and negative 8. Then, we'll multiply the 5 by the same terms. This gives us x cubed plus 7x squared minus 8x plus 5x squared plus 35x minus 40. Finally, we collect like terms to simplify this expression to x cubed plus 12x squared plus 27x minus 40. Nice. That brings us to the end of this video. Let's recap what we covered. First, we saw that the product rule is used to expand expressions in the form a plus b times c plus d 
to AC plus AD plus BC plus BD. We can also reverse the product rule to express AC plus AD plus BC plus BD in factorized form. We use the acronym FOIL to help us remember that we first multiply the outer term of the first bracket by the terms in the second bracket, before multiplying the inner term of the first bracket by the same terms. Finally, we ran through a few examples where we saw that we can apply the FOIL method to expressions in a similar form to A plus B times C plus D, only containing more terms in one of the brackets. That's the end of this lesson. See you next time.